Welcome to the Lusitani campaign for Davidiet Empire 1.2.4. In the last part, we pushed up north and took this region here. We've now effectively reduced the Iceni to a single region up here with a small army. And in this part, I would like to keep the momentum going because I don't want them to build up too big an army too quickly. But at the same time, these armies are quite badly damaged. Ready for further orders. My instinct is to consolidate the forces into Warriors one all. army. Let's put all the good units into Our one minions. army. Which one's got the least damage? Bring out these back. Got. I think we've lost the Slinger unit, haven't we, here from this army. Oh, great. But you've got a damaged Slinger unit. Pav is a little bit damaged. I'll send you over. My instinct is to do that so that we've got some Cav in here. Bring you back, send you over. That Get moving. now the makes tribe. this into a more primary army that probably won't need else? that much refurbishment. Warriors this all. army is in need of some work to keep this area stable. We'll just untax it. It's not really making that much money for us anyway, or is it? Well, it's making quite a lot of cash. It's making 714. I think at the moment we're just going to go with the public order. We've got lots of resources here, so we're going to put a temple in there. For we're just going to inch this out. army up behind. Can these guys pull in any more mercenaries? Nope. This is 5 8, this is 6 10. You're an old unit anyway. Are you it's your armor? Your armor is only 10. That would give you an armor of 11. Down here, we've got these Yozos. King, you can come in here. Just destroy these. We might lose a unit, but it's only a mercenary unit by the look of it. Takes these guys down. Starting out. Warriors all. Oh no, these guys still survived. Move out. You can drop into patrol. I don't care how General. tired you are. Oh, you got here. Morale against all enemies. Plus to influence per turn for ruling political party. I think that could be useful for the moment for my faction leader. What we got here growth per turn that could be useful I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see how old my faction leader is he's 53 so maybe it's about time he started thinking about retiring we certainly need to get the heir married what should, what should you like Oh, great. Ah. Well, what we're going to have to do is get this guy into the battle. He's only level one. You're level one. Now yeah, we're going to have to get you into some battles coming up. Because you're only 17. You're 28. Yeah, we need to start developing you as a future leader. Which could be fun. I mean, actually, how's the political standing at the moment? Good. Got a little bit of cash to spend. 
have a look through. Terrakinesis has still got big order issues, so we're just going to bring this army across and you have further orders? You can patrol. I don't care how tired you are. Let's have a quick look at the mess messages. Instruction. I would like to take that up. Public order. It's going to give me the best public order, isn't it? 12. Yeah, I think we're going to go that way. Because I want the public order as high as possible so that I can start driving up this tech. Yeah. I mean, retreats. Assault expands. That's about it, all I can do for this turn. So, what I'm going to do now is just going to go for and turn of these guys. This is still negative. But this is building, so, so hopefully this will pull this around over time. Eventually I will take these military buildings down. Just gonna go for an end turn. Oh we got some oh I haven't done technologies. <laughs> Actually what technology did we if we just research complete emergency measures. We just did that. Double for city ports. I mean, is that going to be worth pushing? Minus two attrition losses is when besieging. Minus two enemy siege holdout times. Now, I am operating without artillery. This is plus five food. We've now got this here. Agent action costs plus there plus three public order more provinces. I think we'll go with that. This public order is still a little bit of a pain across the board here. Oops, we still got a general here. He's got. Oh, obviously I didn't do this. But my king. Wow. We'll just put up the Empire Maintenance there. Daughter comes of age, Sira. Construction report. Of course, it's got to be winter. Thirsty for battle. For the tribe. Question is, they're on their second army. Ready for orders. Oh, we've got to go in for this. Actually, this guy is actually outside and fortified. No! No! How can he be fortified and not and be inside the settlement? That doesn't make sense, guys. Well, it looks like we've got a battle on our hands. Why haven't I... Is this guy not a knight commander? I don't, can't see why he could be. I think we're going to go for it, guys. This could be a little bit of a tough battle. I couldn't get a knight battle, but they're in a fort. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, we're going to have cav superiority. This army is going to come all the way over here. <laughs> what we're going to do is have this army over here. I'm sure this game cheats occasionally. These are heavy infantry. These are heavy infantry. Just pull you out. Iberian swords. Iberian swords on that side. Let's 
first move these into position there. We're going to have the usual, we're going to have the slingers on each side. Cav. I put the general there. I can see the division between the two armies. General there. These guys, these don't have a lot of armor, so you can hang back. What does that leave me back here with? What I'm inclined to do is have these outs on here. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Have you there? You support this here. And your job is going to be to support this side here. And we're going to start the battle. Now I'm not going to go rushing in. I want to get this army over. I'm also a little bit worried about where their reinforcements are coming from. Although we could probably move this front Our reinforcements have arrived. line forward a little bit. Halt. Right, they're coming out at us. We're just going to bring this army over here. They're actually moving that way, which probably means their reinforcements are coming in from that direction. We're just going to bring this over to reinforce this side. And they're moving that way. That is almost a guaranteed indicator that they're What we're going to do is bring this army in here. But I mean, if they abandon the fort, we'll take the fort over. Sword. Iberian sword. Right, their forces are milling around in there. It's almost like they're not too sure what to do. That's not unusual for the AI. do is take advantage and push this side here. Bring us on this side. Okay, they're moving back that way now. Okay. We're going to be fighting inside of the fort, by the look of it. Get these guys forward. You guys just keep pushing on the fort. You troop, these troops move forward.
guys go for the center. And we don't have our forces. Cavalry. Yeah, pretty beat up. So your job is just going to cut me to come over here. Guys, push these. You guys, push the center. Cat there. How are you guys doing? Slingers out this way. Guys, for reinforce this flank. Some rip. The AI wants to abandon the fort. We'll take it. Can't read this way. Slingers in. That way. Slingers. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Iberian cavalry. Iberian cavalry. Swing round there. Thanks, warriors. Push through. Our general is under attack. Yep. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing there? Guys, one of our units has used all its ammunition. Come into this position. Just by general. Iberian cavalry this way. start to reinforce this yeah that's understandable things have gone a little bit adrift as usual slingers you Let's get over there. We're being shot in the back by a tower. Slingers. Slingers. These guys have got some control on this side. Three, pull away. Push this way. 
Skirmish mode. Skirmish mode. Wait. Take us back this way. Let's push it in on these. Swords, push it in this side. You guys get into the fort for support. Eight. Benefit. Yeah, we're taking these guys down. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, this tower is now neutralized. Oh, no. Time for you troops to push in on this side. Your job is just to keep these guys entertained. You kill these. Kill these guys. One of our units has used all its ammunition. These troops in on this sink. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Those come in on this side. One of our units has used all its ammunition. This flank is breaking a little bit. We're going to need to get these slingers firing into there. Nope, you guys are out of ammunition. Hey. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Um, get a whole sandwich going over there. General. Back into here. Yeah, these guys are breaking. Right. Cavalry in this way. You fire. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, we destroyed their missile units. Here we go. General back over here. You guys. General, a little bit of leadership over here, please. Second general out this way. Actually, you fire that. We got it. One of our units has used all its ammunition. This guy's here. 
these guys are going down. General, where are you? Out. Cavalry away. Hey, idiots, get into here. General break off again. Lost by of the general. Noble cavalry. We hunger for blood and battle. Noble cavalry. You guys pull away. I've lost the general. Oh no, he's there. This is my other general. to go after those. Right, start to move these guys round the back. Hey, I want you over here. These guys. These guys are dying. Oh, that's heavy cav. Got here. These are very tired. We need to replace these, pull away. These are active. You guys just put weight. Spread out. I think these armies are going to need a lot of TLC after this battle. But if it destroys the Iceni, I'll be quite happy. Iberian cavalry that way. General. Iberian cavalry. They will bleed for us. The battle is turning in our favor. Yep. Guys, get in amongst these lot. Spearman, let's wait. General, general, in amongst this lot. How are you doing? These guys are as good as dead. Your job is to go after those. Let's go after those. And all this way. Cavalry, kill those. Those. 
Let me go after those. And how are you? Continue. Just gonna speed it up. One of our units has used all its ammunition. We want to completely wreck these armies so that taking the final settlement would be very easy. Yeah, dead. General is dead. Yeah, look at this. Ah, all the bodies on the battlefield. How are you doing over here? Leaving a little trail. Let's kill these guys off. Yep, I think that's it. Quit battle, end battle. We lost 1,200, which is respectable considering we were fighting 5,000 troops, which greatly outnumbered us. We've destroyed their army and we've probably killed their second general as well. And we've probably also destroyed the garrison. Yeah, that army's down, that army's down. I think we're going to enslave the captives. We have to keep an eye on our slave population. Yep. And, and that is the end of the ICD. You can drop into that position. Got a job for you. Your job is to get out in the water so we can have a look at see at this. We've got this army down here. This is going to be very close to rebellion in the next part. Army. Thirsty for battle. What we're going to do is just move you up roughly between the two settlements the and you can stand there. Up here, certainly don't want these they can go straight away Ready for orders. this army we're gonna need a bit of tlc uh, they're both gonna need tlc actually to be honest what can we get here i i quite like this it's got morale five percent movement speed for all units we'll take that Anything else here? Not interested in that. Campaign movement range. Morale when fighting battles in foreign territory. Yeah, I think we'll go with that just to keep this army going. Got a little bit of cash to spend, so we're just going to. Because of course it's middle of winter, so. The whole place is actually it's going to be 8,000 to take that up. In fact, this could be quite useful. How's your public order here? That's good. Wow. Yeah. I think we're going to take that up, even if it means raising an army here. Deal with the public order. That's a nice big bunch of cash. That blows all my cash. Let's go for an end turn. Got a new political appointment. Rebellion imminent. Yes, well, goes without saying. Outraged population in Britannia. This army can fall back about here. This army. We can't do that. And just come outside. Well, we've got a temple going here. We've got Leather Trapper. 300, 600, 1250. Yes, we're definitely going to go that way. We can probably convert that. Not convinced I need anything from here. We certainly don't need anything defensive, but not in the long term. Food will be quite useful here. 
But as I say, I do want to turn this into an economic powerhouse. That's going to give me 19, that's going to give me 12. I'm going to need to, this to settle down for a little while. Now it's going to take me a little while to get these armies back together and built up before we start to wage war on the Eblani. I'm not going to rush it because I do need to stabilize these two provinces first. Or get them as stable as possible and the garrisons built up. It's, it's becoming a very slow process here. I'm certainly going to get that temple going. This army, can you recruit anything? Probably not because this the the population here is probably absolutely terrible. Yeah, 48 elites, 87 warriors. We've got plenty of foreigners for mercenaries, but I can't really see the point of getting too many. We're just going to need to stabilize this area for a little while. The population here. Yeah, but lots of foreigners because we've conquered this. But we're going to convert them. They're going to become true believers in the Iberian culture. At the moment was 7.3, and of course we're having to deal with the influence from the Eblani over here. But we'll get there. Actually, really starting to like these mercenary Caledonian chosen sword band. I mean they're not as powerful as these and I will probably replace them eventually. I think in the short term they're, they're, they're going to do okay. What we can do is just merge those up I think. Ready for orders. Yeah I think you can go now. You've served your purpose. Do with a new slinger unit in here. Caledonian levies. Ah, of course we can't recruit any slingers simply because I've knocked down all the buildings which means at the moment there's no recruitment off of these at all. But that's not a problem. To be honest, you can drop into patrol. That reduces this down here. A few more turns. This is going to be running. I think we'll, we'll, we'll keep these just for the moment until we've dealt with the Ablani. Then I will take this down. Got a little bit of cash. We've got any other problems here? Spania's got a problem now. What, what's upsetting you? Buildings and squalor. Yeah, it's going to be 64 turns. Belgiers got a problem up here. It's causing your slight problems. You're plus eight. Warriors all. You're fifty-eight. What are you do there. I've got to get one of my junior lead fac faction leader, isn't it? You're you're a politician at the moment. I mean, we're going to need to push down this way. I just want to keep this area strong and stable. And we've got quite a lot of cash. Oh. Happens there are Rebikos. What have you got? Um, you're not going to win that many awards. Nope. Back again. Where are you? Rebikos. There we are. Raise army. Lusitanian naval cavalry. Iberian heavy cavalry. Wow. We're going to go with the Iberian heavy cavalry. We'll give you some protection. And what we got here? Valgi hunters. 155 missile damage. 44. 40. I think I'm still going to stick with my favourites for the moment. That will should keep that and we can start building this army up for the next part of the campaign. 
And once we've got Britannia consolidated, probably this army can then move south to deal with this, to build up and support this army. How, how big is this army? Oh. Maybe it's time to improve the armor on this army there. Right, I think what I'm going to do guys is we're going to get one more turn and then that would be it for this part. Got another son come of age, another child born, and we got rebellion imminent in Caledonia. How many annuals? It looks like somebody here has gained. Yeah, from the death of the relative, the character has taken a bow of honour, his memory, and performing daily prayers in the morning. Thank Zeal plus two. Yeah. And this general is looking pretty good. Instruction reports. So we've now got this here. Uh, our cash is definitely on the rise now. Our food is under control. At long last. This army is refurbishing. I probably won't be able to recruit any units yet. Needs a hundred warriors. Needs two hundred warriors. Hundred warriors there. We've got three cav. I don't really need to bring any more cav in. You can just stay in patrol. Abaracum up here is having a few problems, but we can just leave these armies here to deal with it. You can't recruit anything at all. Lusitani light infantry. Wow. They're going to be as good as useless. Pick this painted swordsman. They could be fun. Got no armor, but they got a pretty good charge bonus. And we got Lusitani light sword spearmen. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is. You're nearly back up to strength. You, King, come up here. Hey, not in the settlement, idiot. Out. You, have further orders? you come down here. Ready for further orders. That should give you a stronger refurbishment. You can just go into patrol. King here and just chill out because the, re the refurbishment for these troops is probably a less. Whoops. Oh, don't do this game. Oh, no, 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 no. My mouse just went funny, guys. <laughs> I think I might have to check the batteries on it. I've been experimenting with a wireless mouse. I have to admit I'm not the biggest fan. I might have to fish out one of my other mouse. Yeah, it, for some reason the mouse the uh, mouse pointer wouldn't respond there. A little bit embarrassing. Never mind. We got a little bit of cash. I mean, I could start pushing this up, but my my interest is more in uh, Spaniards. Still got a bit of an issue here. Maybe it was a bit of a mistake raising this up here. You can't go up to level three. Well, you can go up to level three, but that would take it up to. You've got minus five food. That's minus six food. And that will. I would take my garrison. Provides a garrison of fifteen. 16, 17, 18. Sure. Maybe we need to go for that. Let's just have a look here. A level 3. That Tarakinesis. I think. Well, maybe if we go to a Warlord Chieftain's Hall here, that's going to give me a little bit more cash. Public Order of the Squalor is well under control. I think for the moment we'll just go with this. That would definitely give more, more garrison to that. 
and that's going to be all my cash spent yeah, there and when we take this region here that's when we're going to put in our weapons upgrade there I've got an agent here you just get ashore here I don't think there's any beaches up here I mean we'd have to come right round to here and they've got fairly powerful navy knocking around here and getting across here is going to be interesting anyway that's for the future this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming